Over 2,500 years ago, a visionary thinker in ancient India revolutionized the field of medicine forever. His name was Sushruta, the father of surgery. Through his unmatched brilliance, he not only transformed Indian medical practices, also left a legacy that influenced the world. Sushruta lived in Kashi, the ancient city we now call Varanasi, during the Vedic period around 600 BCE. Renowned as a center of learning and healing, Kashi brought together scholars and physicians, blending spirituality with intellectual pursuit. It was in this vibrant city that Sushruta, under the guidance of Danvantari, the revered god of Ayurveda, mastered the sacred knowledge of medicine and surgery. Sushruta is best known for his surgical expertise, meticulously documented in his magnum opus, the Sushruta Samhita. This ancient text, written in Sanskrit, is one of the earliest and most comprehensive treatises on medicine and surgery. It consists of detailed chapters on surgical techniques, human anatomy, pharmacology, and even medical ethics, showing the depth of his understanding. The Samhita is divided into multiple sections, including the Shalya Tantra, which focuses on surgical techniques, and the Shalakya Tantra, which covers ENT and ophthalmology, encompassing a wide spectrum of medical knowledge. In his seminal work, Sushruta outlined over 300 surgical procedures, from extracting tumors and repairing hernias, to draining abscesses and performing caesarean deliveries. He also described 120 precisely designed surgical instruments, many resembling modern tools like scalpels, forceps and probes, which was crafted for a specific purpose, reflecting his advanced understanding of surgery and material science. Among his most groundbreaking contributions was rhinoplasty, or nose reconstruction, a procedure designed to restore dignity to those disfigured by injury or punishment. Using a flap of skin from the cheek or forehead, his method remains a cornerstone of modern reconstructive surgery. Equally innovative was his approach to cataract surgery, where he used a curved needle, or Jabamuki Shalaka, to restore vision. His technique remains foundational to ophthalmology even today. The Sushruta Samhita also emphasized the critical importance of preoperative and postoperative care. Sushruta pioneered practices like sterilization, patient preparation through fasting and herbal treatments, and pain management using plant-based anesthetics. His holistic approach blended precision with compassion, offering a revolutionary model for surgical care. What set Sushruta apart was not only his unmatched surgical skills, but also his profound philosophy, which laid the foundation for ethical and holistic medical practice. For him, medicine was a sacred duty, aimed at alleviating suffering and restoring both physical and spiritual balance. This belief is central to the Sushruta Samhita, where he emphasized the importance of a healer's character, knowledge, and ethical conduct. Sushruta advocated for the dissection of cadavers, a revolutionary practice in his time, to gain a first-hand understanding of human anatomy. He believed that mastering the art of healing required evidence-based learning. His bold approach made him one of the first to systematically study the human body, famously stating, he who does not know the anatomy of the body cannot reach his goal as a physician. Holistic healing was a cornerstone of Sushruta's philosophy. He viewed health as harmony between the body, mind, and environment, not just the absence of disease. His treatments often combined surgery with diet, meditation, and herbal remedies, dressing root causes rather than just symptoms. Sushruta also highlighted the importance of a compassionate physician-patient relationship. He urged doctors to approach patients with humility, patience, and responsibility, while avoiding greed and carelessness. 
The Sushruta Samhita outlines these qualities as essential for effective healing. Remarkably ahead of his time, Sushruta pioneered medical ethics, including the concept of informed consent. He believed patients had a right to understand their treatment and make decisions about it, a reflection of his respect for patient autonomy. His forward-thinking approach extended to public health as well. Sushruta stressed hygiene and sanitation, advocating for the sterilization of surgical tools and cleanliness in the operating environment. These practices, centuries ahead of the germ theory, highlight his remarkable foresight in preventing disease. Today, Sushruta's contributions are celebrated both in India and across the globe. In India, institutions like the Sushruta Trauma Center in New Delhi stand as enduring tributes to his legacy. In the West, his innovations in reconstructive surgery and hygiene are studied in medical schools and frequently cited in historical discussions of medical advancements. Exhibits at institutions such as the Wellcome Collection in London further honour his groundbreaking achievements, inspiring cross-cultural dialogues on the evolution of medicine. In recognition of his pioneering work, India declared July 15 as National Plastic Surgery Day in 2010 a fitting tribute to the father of surgery. His holistic approach to medicine continues to guide modern practitioners in balancing science with compassion. Sushruta's story is a timeless reminder that ancient wisdom can transcend eras, shaping the world for generations. His boundless curiosity, dedication to healing, and vision of holistic wellness make him a lasting source of inspiration. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Indian Whispers. Let's continue to uncover the treasures of India's glorious past together.